Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get an NVIDIA video card to work properly with Ubuntu Linux. Now I know what you're saying. Rich, what are you doing in Windows XP? Should be in Linux. I'll get there in a minute. There's a reason I'm here. Most people, when they install <coughs> excuse me, Ubuntu Linux, they do it from a, a Windows XP installation. They either do it as a dual boot or they use uh, Wubi possibly, or maybe they just install it over XP entirely, who knows what. But anyway, in Windows XP it's very easy to identify what type of NVIDIA card, you or, or just any video card as a matter of fact, what kind of video card you have. Now, if you go into Windows XP and you go to the control panel, you can go to the system icon and double click it. This is in the classic view mode. If you're in the category view mode, let me just switch over to that and you click on performance and maintenance and then you click on system same thing so we click on system in the system properties what you do is you click on the hardware tab and then there's a button that says device manager and we click on that and then right at the top of the list here is display adapters all we do is expand that, and mine says an NVIDIA GeForce 7600 GS. So I know what I have, and that's good. So you have to bear that in mind. I'm going to stop this video for a second, and I'll go into Ubuntu, and I'll show you what to do when you're in there. Okay, here we are in Ubuntu Linux 7.10, Gutsy Gibbon. Uh, in order to go and get the proper NVIDIA driver, we click on Applications and then Add Slash Remove. And then what we do is select All over here. And then in the search field, we type in NVIDIA. Now there's going to be a couple of things that show up here. When you put in the NVIDIA binary, it is a restricted driver. The restricted drivers manager should already be installed and it should already be checked. If it's not, you're going to need it. So go ahead and install that if you don't have it. Now the only thing you have to look afterwards is either the new or the legacy. The new driver, now it says down here in the description that I don't have an NVIDIA card in this computer. In the computer I'm recording this from, this is true, I don't have an NVIDIA card in it. But if you did, it would in this description, when you click this new driver, it says what it supports. And one of the NVIDIA cards that supports is GeForce 7s. And 7s means 7 and any number after that, meaning minus 7600 GS. So it's GeForce 7 then 600 GS. So that would be the new driver. If it was an older one, like say a GeForce 2, 3, or a 4, then you would want to go with the legacy driver and it would say it down here. This in combination with the restricted drivers manager should get the NVIDIA card working proper. And if you want to know why would you need to put any of this stuff in here? Well, if you run into the situation where you can't get Compiz to work or the enhanced desktop functions with all the fancy animations and whatnot. It's probably because you have an NVIDIA card in your computer but don't have this restricted driver in here. When you have the NVIDIA restricted driver in here, it speeds up a whole lot. You may have to reset your screen resolution once, but other than that, it works very well. I've done it a few times. It really does work. So that's basically it. You go to add remove, you put in NVIDIA, and as long as you know what card you have, and that's why we went to XP before, by the way, so we knew which one we had. As long as you know what kind of GeForce you have, or excuse me, what kind of NVIDIA card you have, choose the right one, check off the appropriate option, install it, reboot the computer once, and you should be good to go. That's it.